morning everybody and welcome to today's nails for newbies we are going to be doing an ombre versus gradient showdown type idea and how to do both they are the same exact technique I was going to do these on my left hand for you to show but then I decided these are clear you guys can actually see what I'm doing through these so I thought that I would just do them on pop sticks again I hope you guys don't mind so thanks to a couple of ladies on Facebook, they broke it down to newbies terms <laughs> for me to actually understand the difference in the term gradient and omre please please excuse the sick three-year-old behind me <laughs> he says sorry um but they broke it down for me they finally made me be able to understand the exact difference it's it's very very simple and it was kind of like a duh moment for me so i'm going to go ahead and break it down for you guys and show you how to do both in on this see-through little pop stick so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing so you can also get the perfect gradient or ombre depending on what colors you use so let's go ahead and jump right into it so as always with all of these videos make sure to check the description below for any discount codes I might have for you as well as timed links so that you can jump through the video to what you need help with so to get started we are going to do a gradient the difference between the two is literally only the colors you choose to use a gradient is when you are fading multiple colors together that are not in the same color family the only difference in an ombre is the terminology the gradient is with a bunch of different colors that are not in the same family of color and an ombre is the same family of color with just different shades of that color so for the ombre that i will be showing you we are going to be using green and we're just going to be using two different shades to keep it nice and easy as i mentioned the technique for both an ombre and a gradient are the same exact thing i will show you both but i will be speeding through the second one I'm gonna first show you a gradient and to do that on your nail without a stamping plate you are going to be needing a latex free beauty sponge and I typically do when I'm doing gradients I do them over a white base but again I wanted to make sure that you guys could see through so you could actually see the movement of the sponge as I'm fading all the colors together a white base is simply just going to make the colors you've chosen stand out and pop more as stated I typically use a white base to make my colors pop when I'm doing a gradient but you do need to remember that you must top coat whatever base color you are using to include if you are just going in on your natural nail you need to top coat that to give the color something to stick to as well as to protect the base color you've already put down if you do not do this you will be lifting that base color up with the sponge and you will be creating a mess so please always remember to top coat your nail before you go in to sponge on a gradient always Now, when you go back in for your second and third layer, instead of just laying down that color in one flat motion, start moving your sponge. If this was on your nail, it would be much easier. Start moving that sponge in small circular motions. This is the dab, dab, dab that so many people refer to. And as you are moving that around in circular motions, you are really starting to blend those colors together and making them fade seamlessly into each other. earlier the only difference between an ombre and a gradient is the terminology an ombre is going to be two colors within the same color family blended together or faded together so today we're going to be using green and it is the same exact process Ok 
Okay, so here are the two side by side, the gradient right here and the ombre over here. As you saw, the exact same technique. So let's go over why top coat is so important. We've already discussed why you need to top coat your base color even if you are not using a base color you still need to top coat your natural nail before adding on the gradient. But top coat also once applied over your ombre or your gradient it helps to further blend those colors to make it incredibly smooth. It also smooths out the surface of your nail plate and protects your work. And that is that. That is a gradient versus ombre showdown for you guys. I hope I could break this down as well as the ladies over on Facebook broke it down for me. As always, if you like this video or if you like me, don't forget to subscribe and share my video and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye guys.